Wilson's Live Derby Kitchen is sponsored by Dano Seasoning and DanoSeasoning.com. Dano Seasoning. It's damn good. Yum, yum, get you some. Yes, Dano's Derby Kitchen is now officially open. I'm lucky enough to have Kentucky John with me, who is uh, representing oh, yeah. Dano's. Okay, Kentucky John, first of all, happy Derby to you. Happy Derby to you as well, sir. <laughs> Man, these aromas of Dano's seasoning has really got me excited. Yeah, you, you were telling me when you do taste testings at supermarkets, Kroger's, wherever, you say people flock to that smell. Y'all, they smell the Danos from one side of the building to the other, and they come trying some Danos for the first time, and they become Dano Fanos. Dano Fanos, that's right. Yum, yum, get you some. Okay, let's talk about the advantages of Danos. Uh, first of all, all natural, right? All natural, low sodium, with no sugar. Y'all, you don't know to your Dano, the flavor is incredible. And here's what's awesome about our product. Where it's all natural, low sodium, you really can Use a lot of Danos on your chicken. Look, I'm popping the trigger finger right now. This here is low sodium, no sugar, so it's going to create a nice herb crust for us. Yeah, you know, I was surprised in that. So I saw Dano do this, what you're doing right now, with, with grilled chicken. So I wanted to impress everyone at home, and I went home, and I did it myself. First of all, it was easy. And secondly, I was really generous with it, and it seemed like it, it, was, it was more tasty the more I put on it. And that isn't usually the case with some seasonings. That's correct. A lot of people are afraid to use seasoning, especially those that are a little inexperienced with cooking. They don't want to use too much and run their meat. You don't got to worry about that with Danos. It's really hard to use too much. I'm using a little bit of Kroger olive oil. I'm using a little bit of Danos. And that's it, y'all. Simple recipe with those chicken tenders. You get you a thermometer. Make sure it's 165. <laughs> you know, I, I think it's interesting that a lot of people, you know, trying to lose weight out there. And here's the advantage of Danos is not only is it all natural, but low in calories. So a lot of times you think about diets and you go bland. Oh, it's not going to taste good. Add a little Danos. You're not adding calories, you're just getting the nutrition and the good taste. That, that's a, To me, it's a nice little secret to have in the back pocket, right? It is right. And not only is it low sodium all, y'all, this right here is all the salt in the entire bottle. And this is natural sea hold, salt. Hold that up there. I want them to see yeah, this. Yeah, y'all. This so is all the, salt. all the salt. Incredible. And that's natural bottle. sea salt, so it's got the minerals your body needs. Okay. Y'all, the question you have to ask yourself is, do I want to be a winner for dinner? All you got to do is put some Danos <laughs> on it. Yum, yum. Get you some. It's damn good. It's fantastic. And what we're going to do today, which is extra special, is that we're going to be using some, some ranch and hitting it with the new hot chipotle. The smokiness, the sweetness, go along with our chicken tenders. We're going to love it. It's going to be Dan O'Mite. It's going to be Dan O'Mite. Kentucky John, we were talking about it's probably easier to talk about what you cannot put Dan'o's on because, I mean, it can be used on anything. So name some of your favorites. What do you like to put I, it on? I love putting it on chicken salad, tater salad, macaroni salad, tacos, fajitas. But you know what? I've even tried it on twinkles. Don't hate. Put the spicy on there. Unique experience. Oh, wait, you went extreme there with the Twinkie. Extreme. <laughs> you did go extreme. I want to know. I, everything I try, I wonder, what's that taste like with Danos on it? I, I, I did mention to Dan when he came in here once, I said I had it on avocado. Oh, and, and yeah. Because I love the taste of avocado, but it does need a kick. It's kind of bland, and it was delicious. And popcorn, also a little bit of pizza. Oh, yeah. I love it on my pizza. It's also awesome to make uh, just your homemade pizza. And get that in there before you cook the pizza. When that Danos melts with butter or cheese, y'all, yum, yum, get you some. <laughs> can, you, can you tell me? Now, I know it's a secret, but what is it? Is it the lemon? Is it the garlic? I know there's a mixture of herbs in there. What, what do you think separates Danos from other seasonings? Our profile is amazing. we got rosemary in there. we got a citrus profile. In fact, if you use Danos spicy on some fish, what you're going to notice is the citrus profile really popping. There's not a better seasoning for fish out there as far as mine concerned. All right. Kentucky John, you are an expert when it comes to Danos. So for folks who are watching now and they say, okay, I want to yum yum, get me some, where, where can they find Danos? You can find it at danoseasoning.com along with some awesome gear to get you one of these hats. But also we have it at Kroger, we have it at Myers. If you go to danoseasoning.com, you can look at our store locator. There may be even a small shop near you to get that damn good flavor. Okay, so you, when we come back here, you can do some kind of special ranch thing or do you want to do it right now? Oh, the ranch with the Chipotle. We okay, can do it right it. now. Yeah, we, we can go, go right into it. Y'all, this is my new favorite thing to do. Um, I take it into restaurants with me if I'm going to have a salad with ranch because I'm a big fan of the ranch. But when you put that hot chipotle in there, it's the next level. So, so you got ranch dressing, mm -hmm. and then you're throwing the chipotle, 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 you and you get a good stir on it. It looks like I poured a lot, but I love that smokiness and that sweetness. And you take here one of these chicken tenders. They're very hot right now, but you cut one of these up, and 
You just oh, dab that in there. You're gonna use it for a dip. Yeah, just dab that in there. Now this is a dip for anything that that you use ranch on. And right there, I don't know if you want to try. It's a little hot. Okay, I'll, but I'll, it's incredible flavor. I'll wait till that cools down, but I will give that a shot. Again, Dano's, Ooh. you got a yum yum. Get you some. This is a Dano's Derby Kitchen, and we have found every chef that comes in here goes, oh yeah, I use Dano's. It's kind of a little bit of a secret that's not a secret any longer, right? Right. The secret <laughs> is out, you all, and. And if you want to impress your family, if you say you have a sweetie coming home tonight, make her some of these chicken tenders, and you're going to get all the hugs and smooches. All the hugs and smooches. All the hugs and smooches. But you got to do a, a rhyme with that. There's got to be a Dano's rhyme with that. Come on, Kentucky. Actually, rhyme. I got one for you, all Okay. You don't know until you Dano, and once you know, you let your taste buds grow. Yum, yum, get you some. Dano's <laughs> <love> seasoning. <laughs> Kentucky John, he is the expert. Get you some Dano's. Yeah, like I said, there's a, all kind, a variety of foods that you can use it for, and if you're on a diet, you don't want that bland diet, just just mix in a little Danos, you're going to be fine. We're going to take a little break, and then we'll come back with Don G, and we're going to finish up here in the kitchen. Again, it's the Danos Derby Kitchen. Welcome to Derby Season with Kentucky John. We'll be right back. When it's time to replace your